guys, my name is Lisa Grace and this is Nailcomer's YouTube channel. I hope you enjoy this video. Okay, right, nail is prepped, tip is on and cut down and shaped and blended. So coming in with the nail prep and then the ultra bot. <laughs> I did it again, ultra blonde. It's not ultra blonde. It's no, you ultra... didn't. You actually only said bond. Yeah, at that but point. I felt my tongue go in for the L. Ultra bond. There's nothing blonde about it. Ultra bond. Okay, dokes. Right, so we're doing a clear and. What would you say that's brown yeah. copper? It's a. Uh... We're using Nomad from the Touch of Darkness collection. It's that kind of colour. It's it's got that shimmer to it that gives it the coppery effect. Mm. I'm not entirely sure what colour it is, but it's beautiful regardless. So I'm using my medium speed monomer and my A8 acrylic brush. And I'm going to come in with the clear first. That glitter out of there, we don't want you. And I'm just going to come on and do a nice thinish base. And then we're just going to marble some clear and some nomad together. So I'm going to get a small bit of clear, just tap it into the nomad and then back into the clear again. Because I don't want too much colour on here. This is just a little bit of a background. So we're just going to do a couple of subtle hints of the, the copper. Just like so, maybe a smidge more on this bottom, who knows? Who knows? A little bit more, there we go. I'm going to pop my lid on Nomad. Just give that a second to set enough so it doesn't move. I know that's quite tricky to see, guys, because we've marbled it with the clay. But it's a little bit bumpy so I just need to wait for that to set and then we're going to cap the whole thing in clear just to build up the structure and fill in those little gaps oh should we do this one matte or shiny depends what you're going to do with it because I think either would look fine you know mm. Mm. should we do what we normally do we'll matte it and then we decide if we like it or not. And if we yeah. don't, we'll gloss it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> See, I'm all for a gloss nail. But I know that, you know, not everybody wants gloss video after gloss video after gloss video. Like, bring out a matte top coat every now and then, Lisa. Yeah, we do have to... Um... I think this would look nice matte, though, but I might be wrong, so... We'll do it, we'll see, and if not, we'll um, gloss it. Do you know what I'm liking about this so far? What's that? It could be a bridal nail, it could be an autumn nail. Uh, yeah, I guess you could incorporate this into a bridal design. This uh, Nomad would actually go really well with a couple of the bridal colours in the new collection, wouldn't it? Mm-hmm. Could be very much a bridesmaidy, mother mm, of the bride. Type yeah, nail. autumn bridesmaids. Right, I'm going to wait for that to set and get it filed up. I will be back in a minute. Okay, so we're all filed up, ready to go. Um, I'm going to be using some of the metallic leaf on this. So we've picked this one out. Obviously, they're all, there's one silver one. Let me show you. There's one silver and then there's a lot of different gold ones. So some are more pinky, some have got little green hues to them. 
So the one that I've picked out, it's got little bits of pink in there. If the camera would like to focus. Take the lid off the right way. So this stuff is so thin and light. So you've got to be very careful with it that it doesn't just blow away. So I'm going to take some out, just rip some off. With a stab of nails. Stabby nails. And you can see how oh, it's gorgeous. It's so lightweight. So I'm just gonna get it on my tissue and just shred shred all off. Shred some bits up with my fingernails. There we go. Right. So I'm going to apply this with the shiny top coat. Let's pop the lid on that. Come on, Lisa. Learn from your mistakes. <gasps> Watch what you're doing. Why don't we? Right, so I'm going to pop a gloss top coat on. Nice thin coat. And then I'm going to use, you can either use tweezers or a crystal picker. And I'm just going to pop that on. And you can manipulate it and scrunch it and move it about. Because it is so thin, you can really play around with it with how you want it. Did you hear my tummy then? I did. I think I need some uh, need some food in me, Sam. Oh my god, this stuff is so lightweight. Get off. Yeah. Well, this is a real different way of doing your marbling. Well, that's a little. It's a little special, isn't it? This is where I end up getting a bit carried away, though. And the whole nail will just be foil. I don't think you'd complain at that, though, would you? If it sparkles. But I am going to make a stop in a second. <laughs> You see how it just kind of scrunches up if you want it to because it's so, so thin. It's beautiful stuff. Right. I'm going to leave that at that. There. Right, so don't worry about these bits that are hanging over the edge. We're going to pop that in the lamp and cure it. Because it's so thin and lightweight. Those bits will literally just crumble off when it comes out the lamp. Right, so do we reckon matte top coat? We'll see how it looks and see then decide. Let's do it. Let's do it. Just a plain matte on there. Yeah, the velvet matte. Yeah. Although, no, we've got the rose velvet, which I think would look gorgeous, but I think it's going to be too much. Yeah, I think we could use that on a different nail. Yeah. I think we could use okay, that on a... chuck that in. On a redder. No, so yeah. these bits on the edge now will literally just come away. Here's my buffer. Let's just buff those corners. Get rid of that. So even if you didn't want it, Matt, you would need to come in with the top coat again because obviously the tops of these foils haven't got any top coat on them. So let's get this open. So this is the velvet mat. Now providing you've stuck your foils nice and flat, you should only need the one top coat. If you have got any really obvious lumps and bumps on there, go in with your regular top coat, cure it and then give it a gentle buff on the top. Okay, pop that in. Yes, yeah, so then you buff off any roughness mm -hmm. and then give it another top coat. It'll be nice and smooth. We'll see how this looks and then we'll decide. Um, 
decide whether to keep it matte or go shiny. That bloody flies annoying me. Ooh. I'm excited to see this. I hope it looks good um, matte. I really hope it looks good matte. <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm matte. Person. No, I'm not. I'm not. Let's have a look. Oh, yes. Yeah, that's staying matte. That is staying matte. I think it might need to go in again. There's a little bit shiny up there. Um, let me wipe it over. See what you think. Oh, I like I really, Yeah, no, I like that matte. I didn't think I was going to like it. Yeah, I like that. What do you think, Sam? I like it. Yeah, we're we keeping it matte? Yeah. Yeah, I'm happy with that. I wish maybe I'd added like a little bit of chrome pigment underneath though in the um yeah. just a tiny tiny little bit blended in with the with the marble because that would have really really popped under mm. there but i love those foils matte amazing right let's get some oh we've actually done a matte nail sam we've actually we've got, got a matte, matte nail. nails oh we have haven't we two now right careful applying your cuticle oil on a matte nail because it will make it go shiny if you do though just get some of your um Kiwi cleanser and scrub over and it'll take it off. And there you go. Focus please, thank you. So I hope you enjoyed this video guys. Don't forget to give us a little thumbs up, hit like on that video, drop any comments that you've got down in the comment section below. And more importantly, make sure you hit subscribe so that you get a notification for all of our future videos. All of the products that I've used today you can find on our website which is nelkme.co.uk and I will see you in the next video.